let's move on. Let's, let's talk about the very first game on our menu. It's um, Leicester City versus Chelsea. Leicester City taking on Chelsea FC. Chelsea FC going through a very, very, very complex time as a football club. Um, Leicester, likewise, um, Leicester are playing at home. They are 15th. They've won seven, drawn three, lost 15, a goal difference of minus seven. While Chelsea are 10th, they've won nine games, drawn seven, lost nine, a goal difference of minus one. So two teams with a negative goal difference <laughs> going, going up against mm, each other. Yeah. Um, it just, you know, it just shows how bad Chelsea's attack has been because they have the third best defense in the league. Mm. Well, so to so have negative goal defense, the third best defense in the league. They like barely they, score. They, yeah. they, 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 they barely the score. The attackers are really sleeping. It, it, you know, see now, just mm. take, taking your thoughts. Two teams who are not enjoying their Premier League campaign at all. They are not. They are not. But uh, the good news is for Chelsea fans, it seems as if there's been an uptick of form for the past couple of games. Even for Leicester fans. Uh, take away the recent bad results. Before that, they were looking quite in good stead. Away win against uh, Aston Villa, home win against Spurs, and a very good, cred creditable first half performance against United. It seemed as if they could build upon that. Then they came up against Arsenal. Arsenal flying at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, Leicester, they hung in there for quite a while, but ultimately it wasn't to be their mm -hmm. day. So, it's a bit of Then a they lost at Southampton. Strangely, it's they couldn't strange. even get a shot on target. And, that game in particular, Ihan Ocho was, was guilty of very terrible finishing. He had about three or four very big chances. And he couldn't even find uh, the, the, the keeper or even the goal. It was so bad. And I, I was just wondering what was happening. But I feel like that was one of those games sometimes. I don't think their performance deserved a 1 0 loss. But sometimes these things happen and uh, you're unable to get what, what you deserve in a game. So it's a, a bit of a mixed bag. This game coming up at the Kim Power, especially. Uh, looking at historically, it's been a, a bit of a mixed bag for, for Chelsea. They have lost uh, the last last versus they won 3 0. Mm -hmm. Then the one before that, they won 2 0. The one before that, a 1 0 loss. The one before that, a draw. So they don't have a very, very good record at uh, Leicester City. They are, they are good enough, but they are not an, ex <coughs> not an excellent record at Leicester City. Leicester to this year at home, they, they have been on and off. They win some, they lose some. You know, it's, it's a bit of a very, very complex, as you have said yourself, a very complex situation for both clubs. So it's been interesting, interesting to see how this game will, will pan out because these are teams who are desperately looking for, for a run of form. Chelsea have begun well. They scored uh, the first game in which they scored two goals for God knows how long against <laughs> Borussia Dortmund. And a very good performance, very good defensively. And offensively, they made... Uh, they, they made use of the chances they did get, although the, some people say the referee helped them a bit in the retaking of the penalty, <laughs> in the award of the penalty in the first place and all that. But you have to take your chances when they come to you. And Chelsea did do that against mm. Osmond. They did do that last week as well against Leeds. So they'll be looking, although this game is away from home, unlike the, the, the previous two games where they have done well at home, this game will be at King Power. But uh, let's see how it goes, because Leicester, they have shown that they can't, they can't perform at home. Okay. Coming up against us now, they give us a run for their money. Although they did lose at the end of the game, they did give us a run for their money. They beat uh, Tottenham 4-1 at, at home. So it would be an interesting game. I think it might end the draw because both teams are not where they want to be right now. Chelsea, I don't think, are, are strong enough right now to, uh, to demolish or to annihilate, annihilate teams. And Leicester are not mm. looking very good as well to, to spring a surprise against Chelsea. Mm -hmm. So... It, it's a bit of an even game, but let's, let's see how it pans out because Chelsea mm. are looking very good at the moment. Okay, so, so your thoughts on, on Leicester, it's been a very remarkable, not in the positive way, but it's been a very odd season. I thought that this would be a season where maybe they make top 10, maybe top 6, top, but they haven't looked yeah, good. they've not met expectations at all. It's almost like their team had needed a rebuild. There was no capital for a rebuild until they sold Wesley for Fana. And because they sold him so late, they struggled to kind of bring players in. They used January to kind of rejig their squad. So we are now seeing what we should have seen at the beginning of the season, which is why the first half of the season was a complete waste of time in, from that <laughs> perspective. You know, they just couldn't get going. So we are now seeing a better team. And you have some, a lot of their key players kind of underperforming or injured. We know Telemans is probably not staying, so his head is elsewhere, completely yeah. uninvolved in anything that's happening. They have now kind of redone their centre-back partnership. So we now have Suter and Woods face as the new centre-back partnership. But 
this is a partnership that only started in January. So things are getting. Jamie Vardy has stopped scoring. You know, we were wondering when it when he will finally stop scoring, and it looks like that day has come. <laughs> so it's just everything has just gone wrong. I think Madison's been the only breath of fresh air mm -hmm. in the team. You know, and even then, because he's in and out of the team, his fitness has not been all that. It's a bit difficult. But look, they're not playing well. They're about to be, if they don't get shot on target. They'll become the first team to go three games without getting a shot on target. Wow. They are heading for, they are in a very bad place. Crystal Palace are in the same place, but I see <laughs> Crystal Palace as more likely to break that record because Crystal Palace are playing Manchester City, whereas they are playing Chelsea, who are a bit more open, but still very difficult to break down. It can't, it can't be underestimated. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know for Leicester because every time you see them and you think that, oh, things are getting better. Things take a turn for the worst. Like Sydney said, there was a slight pickup in form. We thought things were going well. Then I think they lost to Manu, and then since then, it's like the wheels are falling off again. But there's still time. I don't think they'll go down. And I always say this. I know I say it every <laughs> week. But look, when we talk about the teams going down, I believe it's between Bournemouth, Everton, Southampton, and Leeds. Okay. Three of the four will go down. I can guarantee two. <laughs> like, I can say right here, two of them will go down. There's okay. no way. Uh, which two? I want to say Bournemouth and Southampton. <laughs> I want to say as the two. But between Leeds and Everton, I think there's a bit more wiggle room there. But I'm very sure two of those four will go down. And because of that, I think a lot of teams who are not doing well, West Ham, Leicester, some of the teams who are in the mm. bottom half, who are, they have quality players, but they're not quite picking things up. They'll pick up enough results just to get away from those teams. And I think that's what will save them then. But it's been a very poor season. Mm. But I believe Madison has enough good games in him. Barnes has enough good games. Even Kelechi and Nacho, has en yeah. they have enough good games in them. He's going to perform there. better than last, because last yeah. weekend yeah. he wasted opportunities. Yeah. So they have about 12 games left. And between those three, I can see them winning three or four games. And in a relegation battle, those nine points, those 12 points could be so key because there might be also some draws sprink sprinkled in there. I don't know where Bournemouth and Southampton are going to win three, four games in the same period, you see. <laughs> so those are the type of calculations I'm making to base why I think they'll survive. Okay. But it's not good enough. It's really not good enough. Okay. And I feel bad for Brendan Rodgers because his style was so high. If a top six job had opened up, he probably would have been one of the leading candidates. Mm -hmm. And I think that train has passed him by. I think he probably has to leave, go somewhere else to kind of rebuild his career. And it's been interesting to see how it goes. But I, I believe him and Leicester, I think... It's, it's for the best at the end of the season they end it. Okay, all right. We'll see. We'll see how that one plays out. Um, Leicester hosting Chelsea at um, the King Power Stadium.